shake Good morning, Dr. Steve Maraca from Clearview High School. I'll be your counselor next year. I have all the freshmen. We can't wait for you to arrive at our high school. There are so many exciting opportunities for you that exist at our school. In a couple days, you'll be attending an electives fair here at our high school. Did you know we have over 20 electives that you can choose from? Cooking, media, computer-aided drafting, woodshop, there clearly is something for everybody. However, unlike the middle school, these are full year courses. So you really need to pick a class that interests you as you'll be in the class for the full entire year. So in a few days, we're excited for you to come over, bring an open mind, think about what interests you and interact with our students so that you can make the best choices possible when you construct your schedule for our high school. Can't wait to see you. Media literacy is in demand now more than ever, with companies of every type needing to maintain a strong presence on social media. So there's never been a better time to pursue a career in this field. Students in Clearview School of Media Arts will also learn important skills like project management and creative problem solving that will serve them well wherever their career takes them. And did you know that students can earn three college credits just by completing the first two courses in our program? If you'd like to learn more, join us in room 302, right down the hallway. I think many people have a misconception about what accounting really is. I have students come through my program, decide this is a really great career choice for them, take it in college and ends up in really rewarding high paying jobs. Accounting's in every industry. With the multiple levels that we have and the business background that I have, I can prepare kids not just for a career, but even for college. Plus, I teach them all about money. Well, here at Clearview we have Art 1 through Art 4, all the way up to and including Honors Art 4 and AP Art 4. Uh, we also have a class called Experiences in Art, and that is more introductory for kids that maybe don't plan on going through the program. Art 1 is probably a foundations class where we do a lot of realistic representational drawing and learning different techniques like that. I would say Art 2 is a little bit more experimental where we mess around and uh, try different techniques and uh, uh, materials. And then Art 3 and Art 4 where we get to be a little bit more creative, a little bit more expressive, and students develop their own voice and their own mark at that point. I think the opportunity to work in a creative environment, um, something where you're not structured and you know, taking tests and listening to lectures every day gives kids a little opportunity to be a little bit more creative, um, thinking outside the box, problem solving opportunities, things like that. Even kids that aren't going to major in art in college or maybe even not, in, not go past a particular art class, I think can benefit from the opportunity to uh, be creative a little bit. What's up guys? My name is Mr. Brown. I'm the woodshop teacher here at Clearview High School. This class is an awesome elective and you can take it more than once. Also, this class isn't just for guys. Girls love to take it as well. Did you know we offer four levels of woodshop? There are wood one, which is introduction to woodworking. Wood two, which is construction and woodworking technologies. Wood three, advanced woodworking. And wood four, furniture and cabinet making. Interested in learning the fundamentals of woodworking and getting your hands dirty? Then come join us in woodshop and let's get started.
Well, I feel selfishly that uh, the most important thing at Clearview is anatomy because it's all about you. It's about learning about your body. It's learning about um, people in your family that may have certain illnesses, your own self that may have illnesses. So the class is really one of the only classes that is completely about you and how you learn about yourself and how everything works. So uh, Anatomy 1, what we do is primarily cover the skin, the bones, the muscles, and the brain. Uh, one of our major focuses is on the dissection of a cat where we really learn about the muscles of a cat in de great detail and all the organs on the inside. I think it's very important whether you go into the medical field or not. Clothing construction is an elective course offered to all students who want to learn how to sew. In Clothing One, you can make projects like aprons, tote bags, pillow pets, and pajama pants. As you advance through the levels, you get to choose the projects that you make. Everybody needs to know how to sew. Everybody needs to know how to sew on a button or hem a pair of pants. Most importantly, you'll be learning a skill that you'll have for life. So if you're interested, stop by 712, check out some of the projects that we've made, and we'll be glad to answer any questions. Economics gives you the ability to make good, sound decisions. Decisions about how to use our scarce resources. Things like your time and, of course, your money. Economics will make you a well-informed citizen and give you the tools to make good, sound economic decisions for yourself, your family, and our nation's economy. I teach three levels of robotics. Um, so in robotics one, it's really an introduction to all of the different aspects of robotics engineering, which is, encompasses um, computer science, control engineering, mechanical engineering, and electrical engineering. And what's really cool about it is it's robotics is kind of where all of those spaces overlap. Um, so we do really collaborative projects where students get to build robots, code the robots, design those robots, um, and then use the engineering design process. I started out in Robotics 1. You get to work with programming, building, um, and you start out with all the basics. But then it builds you up to Robotics 2, which you actually get to work in the competitions and with the robots and stuff like that. So you're actually working um, hands-on with something that you feel like you can actually use. And to me that was like something that really that held meaning to me. I would like to major in the actual class, so seeing something like this in action was like pretty amazing to me. If you take child development, you can take it as a sophomore, you can take it as a junior, and you can take it as a senior. There's three levels of child development, regular child development advanced the following year, and then work study if you wish to take it a, a, for a third year. Students take this class basically because they enjoy being with kids because we are with children four days a week. One day a week we have our theory day and that's when we learn the theory of child development but the other four days we're in the classroom and we are running a preschool. Um, not everybody who takes the class wants to be a teacher. Many people who take the course just really want to be with the kids and they have some aspiration for a career with children in their future. At Clearview, we have a full four-year track for culinary arts. You start out in culinary arts one to learn the basics of tools and techniques in the kitchen. In culinary arts too, you transition into more complicated techniques, ingredients, and recipes. Culinary three focuses on a catering aspect of the business, where you're producing foods for other people. And lastly, we offer cultural foods, which is a culinary trip around the United States and around the world, where we focus on staple foods and traditions and celebrations from all different countries. So at Clearview we have Latin 1 through Latin 4 honors um, in 
the early Latin classes we learn about early Rome and mythology and we also do obviously basic Latin. In Latin 2 we continue with the grammar and learning uh, about the culture of the Romans and the ancient world. In Latin 3 we finish up grammar and we start working on actual ancient literature. And then in Latin 4, we continue with working with actual ancient literatures. Music theory is a class that I'm always excited to teach every year. The students who come into music theory are students who already know how to read music. In class, we take a look at some musical pieces and we analyze or pick them apart to learn why do composers do certain things. If you've always wondered why music is written a certain way or what makes a great piece of music great, this would be the class for you. So if you're up to a challenge of being in a class where you're working every day to understand how to read and write music, this would be the class for you. Hi, this is Tyler Wernick, Director of Bands at Clear River Regional High School. Clear River Regional High School Band Program is, is a continuation and an advancement of the programs that we have in the middle school. We have three musical ensembles at the high school, two of which are placed through audition and or placement. All three ensembles perform multiple concerts here at the high school, as well as in the community and at region and state band festivals. The last couple years we've been fortunate our wind ensemble has been selected as one of the top six wind ensembles in the entire state of New Jersey. Hi, my name is Mr. Michaelis. I'm the director of choral activities here at Cleveland Regional High School and I'm here to talk to you about why you should take choir. Um, here at the high school we have a national reputation for choral excellence and if you're looking to expand your voice and understand it even more, take this class. Hope to see you soon. We hope that you enjoyed this video done by our very talented media students. That is a sampling of some of the many electives that we have to offer you when you arrive at our high school. Our teachers and our staff can't wait for you to arrive. See you soon.